Hey training friends, welcome back to the layout. Today we're gonna to be doing a really special running and review of my favorite steam engine of all time. It is the Pennsylvania Railroad T1 Duplex. And this thing's too big to even fit on camera. It's huge, it's awesome, and it's unlike any other T1 Duplex for O scale on the market right now. I'll explain why today on PGA's Train Fanatic. Thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to like and subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about this. So I'm going to give you a brief history on this locomotive. This is actually an MTH Premier engine, and I purchased it quite a while ago. It had Protosounds 1 in it, and it didn't actually work when I got it. I bought it for the intention of putting Lionel TMCC in it, and I did that with the electronic railroad board. And I ran it around, I did the upgrade myself. It sounded pretty good and I always enjoyed it, but I felt like it could be better. And this, this thing is heavy, holy moly. <laughs> so I talked to our buddy Sid over at Sid's Trains and Sid suggested that I send my T1 to him and he would put Lionel Legacy in it with whistle smoke. And I was like, oh heck yeah, we're gonna do that because this thing would be awesome with all that. So back uh, toward the beginning of the year, I sent this to Sid and he just did a fantastic job on it. So Sid, I can't thank you enough. It turned out amazing. It's like a my dream engine. Everybody always asks me, he's like, what what's your what's your dream locomotive? And this is this is my dream locomotive. A, a scale T1 duplex with Lionel Legacy and Whistle Smoke. I kept wishing Lionel would make this engine, and they just haven't yet. So Sid helped me to make it come true. So thanks again, Sid and it's incredible. So. Along with upgrading the electronics, it also upgraded the lighting to LEDs. You can see even the flickering firebox and the LED in the cab were upgraded. Here's a few pictures while Sid had it on his workbench. You can see he was working on wiring, dismantling the shell, and drilling the hole for the whistle smoke and then reinstalling the whistle and the new electronics in the tender and the new smoke unit that has two fans to operate that whistle smoke. He just did a really great job on it. If you notice, the whistle smoke actually comes out in a V pattern, which is really unique and awesome. Here you can see Sid utilized the existing MTH tether and it kept a nice close distance between the engine and the tender. <laughs> 